let's learn how to export layers as transparent PNGs in Illustrator in this super simple tutorial. So here, as you can see on my canvas, I have a completed piece of vector artwork. Now at the moment, this artwork is grouped together into a series of groups at different levels. So when it comes to exporting the individual assets or elements or groups that comprise of this artwork as separate files, I first need to understand the structure of the artwork. So to do that, we need to go to Window, Layers. So here I have a completed layer one. If I collapse that layer then, I have a group called Panda. Now Panda is is all the artwork grouped together. Now if I collapse this further, I can now see the individual elements that make up the artwork. So for example, I've got a head layer, right arm, got the bamboo cane, and so on and so forth. If I expand this further, so let's take the head layer. Within the head then, I've got a series of groups that comprise of the eye, of the closed eye, of the head outline, and so on and so forth. So understanding your vector structure is really important. Understanding at what level do you want to export the layers, and where those layers lie in groups within groups and so on and so forth. So let's collapse the head layer back up. So once I'm ready to export the desired layers, I need to use something called asset export, which you can find here. And if you can't see it in your right hand toolbar, come to window asset export. So let's say I want to go to this level. So I want to export these groups as PNGs. So let's select the head, hold shift, select the background so that I cover all these different layers and select them and simply click collect for export. Once I've done that, that will then take me into the asset export panel. And now you can see all these individual assets have been added to the asset export panel ready to be exported. And you'll notice because I named the groups and I named the layers, it will bring over the name of that layer with it. So you can see this asset is called head, this asset is called right arm, and so on and so forth. If I want to remove these assets from assets export, simply click, hold shift to select the bottom one, so that selects them all. And then I simply click remove selected exports from this panel and it will get rid of them. So let's come back to layers. So say now I want to go to a deeper level. So let's take the head, open the head layer, and now I want to export all these individual groups from the head layer. Same again. So select the top group, scroll down till I get to the bottom group, hold shift, click to select all these groups, and again, click collect for export, and that will add it to the asset export panel, ready to be exported. Notice how when you haven't named the group or the layer, asset export will assign it a default name and number. So we'll just call it asset and a number. So if you want to avoid this, make sure you name all your groups and name all your layers before you send them for export. So if I come back to my layers, I can now do this as many times as I like. So once I've done the head, then I can come say to the right arm, expand that, click group, come down to the bottom group within that subset group, hold shift, click, I've got these four selected, collect for export, and then that adds these to the asset export panel. Now, if I come back into layers, you'll notice I can't export groups within groups at the same time. So say, for example, I select these four groups to be added, and then I try to add the right arm as well. You see, it won't allow me to do groups on a different level. But what I can do is, as well as these groups within the right arm group, I can also select right arm, export that, and it will add that alongside these different assets as well. So once you have named all your assets and all your layers and you've added them to asset export panel and you're ready to export, come down to export for screens and click. So let's go through your export options. First things first, you click all assets. This will select all the assets ready to be exported, or you can manually go through and check on or off the individual assets you want to export. So I want to export all of mine, so I'll leave this selected on. And you can switch from a panel view to a list view if you find that easier to look at, particularly if you're dealing with a large list of assets, the list view might be a little easier for you. So we switch back. So select a save destination. So I've already set mine to my DWD images folder, but if you haven't set one already, just click and select your folder and press OK. So you can choose to open location after export. I'll leave this off for now. And you can choose to put your exported assets in a subfolder either by format or scale. So this will make a little more sense at the end when I show you some of the exported options. But we'll go with format for now. So under formats, you have two options of PNG. You have PNG or PNG8. So I'll quickly go through the differences now. I click this little advanced settings button here. Here now I can assign the default export settings for my formats. So for PNG, I have two options. 
options, PNG or PNG8. So for your standard PNG, I can decide whether to export better for art optimization or type optimization. So obviously if you're exporting text, type is probably a better option, but all my assets are shapes and there's no text, so I'll select art optimized. I wouldn't worry about it, the interlaced option. An interlaced PNG will load a degraded version when viewing online before the full version is fully loaded. But I think at this molecular level, we're working with such small file sizes. I don't think it makes too much of a difference. So you can leave that off. Now here's the kicker, the background color. Now you can select white or black, but I'm gonna go with transparent. I want my PNGs to have a transparent background. So that's your basic PNG options. Now let's go to PNG 8. So the big difference with PNG 8 is the number of colors in the file. With PNG 8, you can only work up to 256 colors. So this means you get a smaller file size, but you are pulling from a much smaller palette of colors. So it really depends on the type of artwork you're exporting. You know, if you're exporting a flat vector graphic illustration that only uses a handful of primary colors, you could easily get away with PNG 8 and bring your file size down. But if you're exporting something with lots of different colors and it's a lot more complex, you're probably better off going with PNG because otherwise your exported files are going to look a bit dull and a bit muted because they're pulling from a much smaller color palette. So bear that in mind before you select PNG or PNG 8. And again with PNG 8 you have the same options here. You can either go for type or art optimized and you can set a transparent background or you can set a specific colored background. So let's keep it on transparent. So once you're happy with your standardized PNG export settings, click save settings. So our format set to PNG, all our assets are selected. So we have the option to add suffixes and prefixes to the exported assets. So for example, if I set the prefix to say, you know, let's just set a custom prefix and we'll just say panda underscore and we set the suffix to say underscore v1. So what that means is every asset now will add panda underscore to the start of the file name and underscore v1 to the end. So asset 21 would be panda underscore asset 21 underscore v1.png. And finally, we'd also have the option to scale up our PNGs. So say for example, I select 2x and I add the scale and I export these assets, I will get those PNGs at double their original size that they are on the artboard. So again, I'll quickly show you this when I go through our export options. So I'll just set scale for one for now. And once you're ready, you click export asset and that will save all these assets to the destination folder export layers successfully complete. So very quickly, let's go to our DWD images folder and let's see the resultant exported assets. So I've done a series of different exports here for you, just so you can see the difference between the file sizes and how the images are exported. So my 1x was my standard export. So you can see now here's all the assets I selected, .png, all in one nice folder for me. Now if I come to 2x, so if we come to asset21.png, bring this down a touch, you can see the dimensions of this are 199 by 268. So if I come to my 2x folder and select the same one, asset21 at 2x.png, you can see now dimensions 398 by 534. So it has doubled the dimensions and doubled the resolution. And again, this will be the same with 3x, 4x, and so on and so forth. And I've also exported PNG and PNG 8, just to quickly show you the difference. So again, if we come into the standard PNG, asset21.png, and we have a file size of six kilobytes. Asset 22, file size of two kilobytes. Asset 23, file size of 48 kilobytes. Now, if we come to PNG 8, remember PNG 8 is pulling from a smaller color palette. Asset 21, three kilobytes. Asset 22, one kilobyte. Asset 23, 23 kilobytes. So you can see the file size is practically halved because the color palette used is considerably smaller. On assets like this, where kind of one or two simple colors are used, this isn't going to be a big problem. But if the asset has lots of colors pulling from a much larger color palette, you're going to need to be careful if exporting a PNG 8 because you're going to see dull, muted colors and you might not be getting the color profile that you originally set out to create. So there you have it. That's how to export layers to PNG in Illustrator and some of the different options you can choose. What's amazing about this technique is you can export hundreds and hundreds of layers instantly through the export for screens format settings, which can potentially save you hours of time. So I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing. And I will see you for the next tutorial.